Hi everybody, I'm Joey. Well, today we'll be making uh, this bed for my new house. It has um, a built-in uh, chest of drawers on the other side of the wall here. So um, stick around and see how I made it. So we uh, started out by just dimensioning up some 9mm MDF. Uh, then I had to cut out the holes for the little cubbies. And I just did it freehand with the skill saw and cleaned it up with the sander later. It was um, pretty good actually. Then uh, using 16mm MDF for the kind of ribs and wall type pieces, um, I just needed to cut out the middle ends of the unit. So that was straightforward enough. So I just glued and pinned everything with my little uh, brad nailer. I was planning to come back and screw it together once I had it held together, but I actually was pretty strong by the time I started putting uh, these cross pieces in the bottoms and actually making the the cube. Um, it was really strong, so I just left it glued and pinned together. So it's a bit tricky working uh, with both sides of this unit being good faces. So I wanted the cubby on one side to be in a particular place and I wanted the drawers on the other side to be in a particular place and they met at a point and um, so I had to kind of work around that and it was a constant kind of battle between uh, what was going to be seen on which side but um, we got there in the end. Uh, so I was able to finish all the ribbing of the wall and then I could cut out uh, the shape for the final uh, wall panel. And that is not the units being wrong, but my terrible, terrible floor in my workshop. Uh, right, so now I could get on to dressing down some pine for the rest of the bed frame. So I needed some large-ish uh, beams for the bed frame. So I ripped some of my pine up and glued them together. I ended up with some 80 by 60, I think it was. I added those screws in the ends just to stop the boards moving around while I glue it up and then I can take the screws out before I work the timber when it's dry. I also glued up some legs out of a few scraps of pine I had laying around and I could finish dressing the beams up once the glue was dry. So I was cutting the mitres on the bed frame and this happened. Somehow the piece uh, grabbed up into the saw blade guard area right at the top. It was really well stuck in there. Yeah. And then I could make some quick uh, tenons on the drop saw. And this is the corresponding mortise for that tenon. Uh, now this is the side of the bed frame and the tenon is on the beam um, because I wanted the whole bed to look like it was floating off the ground. I had this uh, kind of cantilevered system worked out and it worked pretty good in the end but um, there's a little bit of real joinery involved. And I needed to halving joint these two beams together so again back on the drop saw to make some quick cut.
So the centre leg directly under that halving joint uh, will just be screwed on and uh, well for, all, for, for that matter so will all of the, the legs. Um, they're just taking downward force so I'm happy just to screw them on. And the other two legs I just notched out on the bandsaw really quick and then could screw them onto the side of uh, the other centre beam. I get these uh, bed brackets just from a local supplier. They're so easy to use and um, really strong and they, they pull the joints together very nicely so I tend to use them for most beds. Um, now the wall of the headboard I've actually uh, added a piece of 25mm uh, plywood behind the MDF to give me something to screw into. It's a beam that runs um, long ways to the bed hangs lower than the other beam by 20 mil so where it meets the toe board I just had to scarf off uh, a piece so you couldn't see it hanging below uh, you can see it there in the middle uh, then we could just uh, screw on these corner brackets And I could add the little cleat that the slats will sit on. So then I started cutting up MDF for the draw parts so I won't bore you with a lot of squares being cut. After I made the draw fronts um, I just used my little handle jig here to uh, create the handle uh, and then work out where I needed to put the, uh, the brackets on the front for the uh, soft close drawers and then give all the edges a round over. We needed to add power points in each of the cubby holes, um, so we're doing this now. We had already had a wire run under the floor in the right place, so uh, we just needed to run a cable through the unit, so we're going to do that now. Um, first we'll drill a hole through the floor and there is a connection box under the floor there for us to uh, connect into. So Dad actually is qualified to do this kind of stuff, so that's that. Um, we added an extra plug under the bed, because later on I'll add some LEDs underneath the bed. Um, but yeah, that, that'll be later on. I 
All right, so some of you may have noticed this little detail on the drawer front. I've had to add an extra 16 mil onto the top of this drawer front because of this uh, step here. Now it's not ideal, but actually uh, makes a kind of interesting little detail. But um, is what it is. Okay, so that is the end of that. Uh, Obviously we don't have the mattress in yet, we will be um, moving in soon as I can, hopefully before Christmas. Um, I've still got a few other pieces of furniture to make before then, but anyway, hope you enjoyed.